thanks for tuning into my channel and you are now watching the cheyenne show yeah just as you can see i'm very excited this is a skincare routine guys so let's get it started starting off with the toner after a fresh wash face you already know what the deal is using some of these reusable cotton pads um got them off amazon and one reason that i really love them is just that they really help to eliminate waste um less stuff going in the trash um, i usually would go for the actual cotton pads that you get at like Target but these are so much better and they're washable so you get a lot of uses out of these. My favorite, favorite, favorite part of this routine is this Tarte Mermaid Skin Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It just makes such a big difference in my routine overall. Next thing that I'll be adding to my face is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue. It's just a gel-based cream my skin really does love the consistency of this product just because it adds an extra layer of hydration and you can literally never have too much hydration. I also love how it leaves my skin just a bit tacky which would be great for makeup application. The most, and I mean most essential part of this entire routine, is sunscreen. See, I'm trying to be threatening because I want to make sure you guys are wearing your sunscreen. Because I want to make sure you're prepared. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So here's me being dramatic, over pumping my sunscreen to show y'all that you need to wear sunscreen every single day. And I do do that. I wear my sunscreen every day and honestly, I feel naked when I don't. I feel like I'm not protecting my skin. The key to skincare not only is just finding the right products, but also having products that will protect your skin from any damage. And that damage can unfortunately come from the sun. The next product that I'm showing you guys is something that I love. It is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream in Man She Thick but she definitely helps to add some extra moisture when your skin is feeling dull and dry, especially in these winter months. But just wanted to show you guys, didn't use it in this routine, but felt like I needed to share the wealth. This is the last step in my daytime routine. It is just the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil. You can use any kind of tea tree oil, just make sure that you dilute it so it's not too strong. Um, but basically, 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 I just use this to spot treat any pimples and help dry out. We have finally reached the nighttime portion of our routine. So if you made it this far, hey. So um, please excuse the lighting. I am back in my dorm room and I really tried my best to make it work, but you know, so much a girl can do. I use the DHC deep cleansing oil to really help break down the makeup, the dirt, and the oil that's on my skin. And oil really does help to break down oil. So it's a very essential step to 
removing everything that's on my face after such a long day um, so as you guys can see I really try to work it into my face at every point of my face um, and I really massage it in there and I especially focus on my problem area which is my nose and after I do this step I do notice that my nose feels so much softer as does the rest of my skin with oil cleansing, once you finish massaging your face, you want to add some water so that the product can emulsify and then you can rinse. After I've oil cleansed, I double cleanse with my everyday ultra gentle cleanser from Neutrogena. Um, I use this on my skin um, for about a minute and again, I really work in the product, focus on my problem spots, and it really does help to soften the skin and improve your texture overall. The next step is not something that I use every single night, but it is something that I like to reach for every now and then. It is a very gentle, non-abrasive, the Bliss Jelly Glow Peel. Um, and once you see me put it on, you'll see exactly what it does. It just helps to get that dead skin right off. And you'll see once I put it on, you'll see some white stuff kind of start to build up on my face and it is just the buildup of dead skin. And it's pretty cool and my face feels really smooth right after, so this is pretty bomb now you see me putting on my micellar water it's just an extra step to make sure that everything is off my face makeup oils negativity whatever it may be just an extra step to make sure my skin's all set Next, I'm going to be using a glycolic smoothing and brightening pad um, from Bliss. Um, so, something that I don't use every night, but it's just meant to prep your skin for the next day. It is an AHA product, so I would just be careful with how that reacts with your other skincare. And I would definitely make sure that you wear sunscreen the morning after, as it can cause sensitivity. The next product that you are about to see is the bomb it is my holy grail it is the ish it is the Laneige lip scrub i've been putting people on i see you doreen this is a shout out to you i just use this as a lip balm and a lip mask and a little really does go a long way so highly recommend this product that is basically it you guys i mean my nighttime routine is pretty simple um it is all the steps that you saw before and the same steps that you saw for my morning routine just minus the sunscreen because obviously i'm going to bed i just didn't want to add it back in because you guys already saw it and why do you want to see it a second time i don't know but that's kind of it so thanks for watching and if you're not subscribed i mean Maybe you should. I don't know. Maybe you should like it. I don't know. Maybe you should share it. I don't know. No pressure. But peace.